I mean, I guess, girl, I guess it was a tell-all. This whole season, though. Ugh. Hey guys, it's Wahima, but just call me Wah. Melanated! Welcome to the final, final episode of 90 Day Fiance. This is season six, episode, what, 17,000? The Tell All Part Two. And aren't we just so glad that it's over? This season has been terrible. It started off with so much hope. I was so excited. Remember, I was so excited for Fernanda and Jonathan. Watching this tell hall has been a pleasure because I have not watched Jonathan and Fernanda's segment and I forgot how fine Jonathan is. Girl, he fine. He fine. I was feeling a little bad for Leda these last couple of weeks with everything that's been happening to her. But after watching the clips, in this episode, I am like, no, Leda actually deserves all of the vitriol that she gets. She doesn't deserve death threats, but like people going after her and, and whatnot. I mean, what she did between Eric and his daughter is emotional blackmail and it, it, it was terrible. Did you guys know that Sean Robinson is 52 years old? Just let that sink in. She looked good. I mean, and that wig flawless. So we pick up where we left off of last episode's tell all where all the cast is so upset with Larissa and Colty and they all get up and storm off. Fernanda in particular, she storms off and she does not come back. They have a little sit down where I think Ashley, Kalani, Asuelu, and Fernanda are all off the stage and Jonathan is there, Jay is there, Eric, Leda, and Steven are still on the couch with Colty and Larissa. Jonathan and Colt end up having a back and forth about what actually went down and about this whole situation with Fernanda and Larissa. I think that Fernanda is wrong. I think that she should have just DM'd Larissa. I do think that Larissa's reaction was a little extra. And I think that the fact that their tension got so bad that they're acting like idiots on this tell all because of it is all just too much of a reaction based on something that Fernanda, who's like 19, 20 years old, did. There are plenty of people, because of social media, feel that it's their right to be able to give opinions like this video, right? Like we all feel a certain amount of right or need to give our opinions and put our opinions out there for everyone to see for validation, me not excluded. But for you guys to be cast members, like it's like, us YouTubers who talk about 90 Day Fiance talking about each other. It's it's just bad form. I would never say, hey, blah, 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 who did something that I found to be untoward or I found to be, um, I didn't like it. I would tell her in a DM or an email. There's just a certain amount of respect or form or decorum that you have with people who are in, colleagues who are in your industry, that unless you want an all out war or some kind of drama, then you don't say things like that. It's, I mean, it happens, but you need to be prepared for the repercussions of doing that, right? And so I just feel like Fernanda wasn't prepared for the repercussions of that behavior. And that's what I think the downfall was. But however, I do think Larissa getting there ready for battle and going off the hinges and not letting Fernanda explain herself was crazy. And after Fernanda left, Larissa ended up explaining herself to Sean Robinson. I think that such a small thing blew up to such gargantuan proportions for no reason on both sides. It was a little annoying to me and mean girl behavior that the cast all of a sudden just attacked. I mean, they attacked Larissa and Colt. They did. I know Larissa was screeching like a harpy and they were extra and especially because of them being late. Now, if they were correct in them being there for 12 hours before Larissa and Colt showed up and they ended up needing to stay another two because of their tardiness, I would have been pissed as well. And maybe I would have been a little bitchy and a little rude the way the cast was. But I feel like the cast was rude to Larissa before the 12 hours was even up. Like they were talking shit about Larissa and Colt like at the two hour mark, at the three hour mark. You get what I'm saying? So it it's all about the timing of when all this happened for me that that is what's a little fishy. I mean, just calling Larissa a piece of trash them calling Larissa trash was a little too much for me. And, but then Larissa took it there by trying to say that like, oh, Colty's a software engineer, what do you? I mean, Jonathan makes his money, girl. Like, what are you talking about? Jonathan could definitely afford to do a lot of things for Fernanda that Colty didn't or couldn't afford to do for Larissa. So if we're gonna talk about people being money and people having clout and stuff, I'm gonna, I definitely think Jonathan and Fernanda 
beat Larissa and Colt in that regards, especially because they live in Las Vegas. Las Vegas cost of living is very low. Like they don't pay the same amount of taxes. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that North Carolina or wherever it is that Jonathan lives isn't low either, but I'm saying like, th it's not like Colty and Larissa are living in someplace expensive. So if Colty is this software engineer though, where's that money? You know what I'm saying? But that's just me looking on the outside. I don't actually know. But from her argument, her argument had a lot of holes in it. And I love the fact that Jonathan, like he being petty girl, Jonathan and Fernanda are both wearing Louboutins. And Jonathan like makes a little like comment to that when he gets up to leave the stage. He like clicks his foot up at, he like throws his foot back at Colty so Colty could see the red bottom. And I was like, Jonathan, you petty. And fine, you petty though. So then we have a conversation with Eric and Tasha and it's just really hard to watch because Eric is just holding on to nothing. He wants Tasha to apologize for a comment she made during the live special with Michelle Collins saying that the mess was 50% his. He wants her to apologize for that. Until she apologizes for lying about how much the mess was his, he's not going to forgive her. And he says that he's always taught his kids that if they make people choose, then they're the ones that are wrong. And I'm like, what actual kind of life lesson is that? Like my dad has never talked to me about that specific scenario. I just think that Eric is trying to run his kids like he's in the military and trying to like set up these really stringent boundaries. Like, oh, you're, my daughter's 18. She's an adult. And he makes some comment later on in like the messy, messy girl Skype phone call in that they do at the end of this episode as saying that he, that, you know, she's of that generation that thinks that everything is owed to them and that they're not adults until later on. I'm mean, just like, listen, an 18 year old is not an adult. You just got out of high school. Like you haven't even like fully matured yet as a human being, haven't fully matured yet. You're still growing. You don't know who you are at 19. You, I mean, just because legally you're an adult, well, the line had to be drawn somewhere and I think it should honestly be pushed back. And he just is holding on to this idea that she is an adult because the law says so. Like I get it, but emotionally, just like his whole defense of Leda is so weak and Ashley hit the nail on the head when she talked about the fact that his young wife shouldn't be able to come in and tell Tasha anything and that everything needed to be filtered through him and he absolutely chose Leda over Tasha because Leda said she was going home and he doesn't want his last chance at finding somebody to love to go away but the truth is is that Leda's gonna divorce him anyway when she gets her degree and moves on to bigger and better things true true when they were talking about Colty and uh, Larissa with Debbie, uh, all the people who have like decent relationships with their mother chimed up except for Jonathan because like, we know Jonathan couldn't say anything because we know Jonathan talks to his mother reckless. Okay, so there's that. But Larissa also says that her and Debbie have mended their ways and Debbie broke some news that she will be moving out. So that was good. You know who was bothering me this entire tell all besides everyone, but especially Jay. Jay has something to say about everybody. It's like all these young ones just really like Jay, Fernanda, and even Steven sometimes like saying some stuff that's just like, shut up. And Asuelu too, when we were talking about the moms, Asuelu was like, whatever happens to you or whatever you do to your parents is gonna come back to you. I'm like, Asuelu, this is not the same situation because you have a different standard. Like things are different in the US than in any other country. Like what he's saying applies to other cultures, not American cultures. I get what he's saying, but it doesn't apply here. Eric is wrong, period, point blank. Ashley talks a little bit about Natalie and breaks her ex homegirl down. She's money hungry. She made up that storyline just to be on the show. Like, girl, she's a liar, liar, liar. And you know, we all have that one friend who just like, you don't ever really believe anything they say the first time, like, because you know, they might have fabricated or added dubs. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if Natalie's that friend, like I could see Natalie making up a whole situation. We all have that friend, that one who just like tells little lies and you catch them in lies, but you don't say nothing to them. Or you hear them kind of low key lying to other people and you don't say anything. You're just kind of like, okay. <laughs> you know, you know, we all have that friend. Girl, Ashley threw Natalie under the bus. I mean, all the way underneath the bus in the basement, you know, below the street level in the subway. She threw her all the way down, girl. 
Everybody got on Eric for the way he treated Tasha, and it was well-deserved. Eric is a fool. He was crying. He couldn't even tell his daughter that he was sorry because he's holding on to something. And then, like, you know, Leda's just sitting there with this smirk smug on her smug look on her face and this smirk of, like, yeah, my husband's going to have my back. You know what it is? Eric gives too much to Leda, and Colty doesn't give enough to Larissa. Just support. Colt doesn't support Larissa enough when she goes off the handle and does things. Like, he'll turn against her when it's around any, like, John or his mom. And even a little bit at the tell-all. Eric does the opposite. He just is in Leda's corner for no reason when she's absolutely wrong. That was the end of the episode. And then they did some kind of follow-up, I, which I imagine was about a week ago, uh, before the Colty and Larissa drama. But before, obviously, Jonathan and Fernanda broke up. So maybe two weeks ago. It was just so messy. They were showing each cast member things that they didn't see and other people talking about them. And then they had to comment on it. And it was just so rude. Sharp Entertainment, girl. Why? That was rude. Like, it didn't make me feel good at all. It just made me feel like it was just really mean girl. Like, and just, I just hated the way that none of the women were supporting each other. Like, Larissa and Fernanda's fight was really frustrating to me because as women, they were just breaking each other down on television. I don't like her. She's trash and like walking off and just, it just was so much not support. I just felt like if anything, everyone should have attacked Leda. I would have been on board on that. But just like, just the women, you know, they just weren't being supportive and it was just annoying. It was really catty and annoying. This whole season was catty and annoying. You know, it just really was. I just, it just wasn't fun. In that sort of messy Skype call, Stephen finally said that he should have apologized to Olga when they were talking about him saying thank you and whatnot about her, you know, and you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I don't explain it. <laughs> and so I just think that like, it was, it was good that Steven, Steven has grown a lot and I actually like him with the dark hair. People were like, no, I don't like it. And I think his eyes pop a little bit more. I just think Steven has had a really good transformation and I, I like where Steven has come these days and I support him. Uh, Steven is still really pissed off at Eric though. He thinks that Eric is a deadbeat dad and I think it's because Eric and Tasha, I think it's because Steven and Tasha are about the same age and he's had difficulties with his parents and so he just is like, Eric is just like, ugh, to him. And I get where Steven's coming from because Eric is, ugh, to me too. You know, as a daddy's girl, I'm just like, that's a betrayal, bro. To some new wife? Not even not even her mother? To some new wife? Girl. Yeah, the cast was just being really mean to each other. The cast was just being really mean to each other in that. And then it didn't even end up... The episode ended in such a weird way that you were just like, is it over? Why are they showing me something I saw at the beginning of the episode, at the end of the episode, and tying it up? Like, I don't feel... This is weird. It's weird. So it ended weird, so this is weird. Okay, so finally let's talk about the Larissa and Colty drama. I don't know what to believe. I don't know where I stand on it. I just, I hope that all parties are okay. It seems to me that Larissa's definitely gonna have to go home after three arrests in what, a year? I don't even know. Also, Ashley has not filed the paperwork for Jay. So that tells a lot. I hope she doesn't. I hope she sends him back. Don't be a fool, girl. You already let him get you caught up in this and making you look dumb on TV. Go ahead and send his ass back home. He doesn't, he can't even recognize that Tinder is something he shouldn't be on. He doesn't know what the word monogamous is and won't even own up to it. Like, you can't be with somebody who can't be an adult. You just can't. You're too grown for that, Ashley. You are too grown. And I understand it, girl. Let him go. Put that trout back in the stream. You picked the wrong one. You tried it. It didn't work. Let it go. Don't have him stay here because he is not ready. Skins Jr. is not ready for you. Um, yeah, Jonathan and Fernanda have broken up because she wanted a modeling career or something, girl. I don't know. Like, I didn't, I didn't really, I stopped following them, obviously, so I don't really know what happened, but I know they're broken up. Colty and Larissa have filed for divorce. Um, I heard that Debbie's paying for the divorce or something like that. I don't know what to think. Like, I just, it's too much speculation and too much going around. I just can't wait for somebody to put something concise and clear together. Like, a clear, concise timeline of what happened. I just hope that both people are okay. I want Larissa to go back to Brazil and be with her kids and her family. And it didn't work out this time. She picked the wrong guy. He just wasn't the person she thought he was going to be. He had potential, but just wasn't the person. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching this episode. Let me know what you guys thought. Let's have a Kiki and a conversation down in the comment section. I mean, just, I mean, are you guys going to be here for the next season of 90 Day Fiance, whatever it is? I don't know if I'm going to be here for it. You know, I'm definitely doing Married at First Sight. 
I'm doing Love After Lockup and I think 90 Day Fiance comes back in April and I just I don't know if I'm gonna do it if it's not good if it's if it's just the same way that it is now you know what I'm saying like I don't know it just this felt like a waste of time at some point it just stopped being fun and I hated that I hated it all of the drama on Instagram I'm definitely not following any new cast members on Instagram ever like I and I I I just can't do it. And I'm going to let go of all of the meme accounts and all that stuff too. Like I'll check in when I want to know what's going on, but otherwise I'm muting all of them. So I don't see anything because it was just too much. It was off screen. It was on screen. It was too much. All right, you guys, that is it. So remember to be you, be true and find your place. Bye. Hey, let's give a little shout out to those that are on Instagram. Hey, Instagram, I am filming my recap of this messy ass tell all of this messy ass season of 90 Day Fiance. It's going to be up. There's going to be no pictures and no music, girl. We're just color correcting and throwing it up because I can't. Can't spend any more time on 90 Day Fiance.